Hey church, and thank you for joining me for another time of reflection from God's Word as it is told to us in the book of Psalms. As the title suggests, we'll be in Psalm 119, verse 57 to 64. And so if you have your Bibles, please uh, open up now and read along with me. Uh, it says, The Lord is my portion. I promise to keep your words. I entreat your favor with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. When I think on my ways, I turn my feet to your testimonies. I hasten and do not delay to keep your commandments. Though the cords of the wicked ensnare me, I do not forget your law. At midnight, I rise to praise you because of your righteous rules. I am a companion of all who fear you, of those who keep your precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of your steadfast love. Teach me your statutes. Back in uh, high school and also in junior high, I used to play football. And uh, as a football player, you know that there are many coaches. You have the offense coordinator, defensive coordinator, the head coach, number of coaches, probably 10, 15, even 20, uh, when you get down to the many different assistants. And one of, the, one of the things that these coaches desired the most from us as their players was that we would be coachable. Because if we could not be coachable, well then it's impossible for them to teach us anything. You know, if we would go to the football season thinking that we had had it all figured out, we understood the routes, we understood um, how to tackle or catch or throw or whatever position that we played, if we felt that we had everything figured out, it made the coach's job impossible because you can't teach someone who doesn't want to be taught or not only that, but who doesn't think they need to be taught. Uh, how do you teach someone who says oh, they know it all? You know, that's just an, an impossibility. The same is true with us as we come to God's word. If we come to God's word saying that we don't need to be taught anything because we already have it all figured out, then we lose sight on the continued power and the continued work of the Holy Spirit who works to teach us all things from God's word. If we go to God's word simply saying that I'm just going to read it just to reaffirm what I already know, I've already studied the New Testament and I know what it already means and so I'm just going to read it just reaffirming what I already know, I don't need to be taught anything, I don't need to learn anything new, well then we lose sight on the Christian life as it is uh, constantly being matured and constantly being sanctified by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because you see, as we open up God's Word in our teens or even in our 20s or 30s or 40s, whatever years that we are in, we're going to be able to have a different sort of understanding as God, uh, from God's Word and what it is teaching to us. This doesn't mean that God's Word is changing. It just simply means that we're changing to the truth of God's Word. God's Word is being illuminated to us. God's Word is becoming even clearer to us than it would have been uh, some 20 or 30 years ago. I myself have been uh, a reader of God's Word and a studier of God's Word for many years in my life, and it is constantly... Uh, it is constantly coming on the foreground of my life that I simply have so much more to learn from God's Word. And this is exciting news for us, that we could read this book that we have been reading since our youth. Uh, for those of us that have been in church most of our lives, we can read this book and have a newfound understanding every single time that we open God's Word. But in order to do that, we must remain teachable. And that's what the psalmist is seeking to do right now. He's calling out to God as an individual who wants to be taught. He says in verse 64, Lord, teach me your statutes. He is crying out to God that God would teach him above all else because he's considered everything else. He's even considered his own ways. In verse 59, he says, when I think on my ways, I turn my feet to your testimonies. I hasten and do not delay to keep your commandments. We can often think on our own ways and our own thoughts and our own ideologies, but the reality is, is those all pale in comparison to the power of God's Word. And so as followers of Jesus Christ, we must realize that we must remain teachable. We must remain teachable, because if we aren't, well then, what left is there for us? And um, it is true that there are times when we do have a, we will have a very thorough understanding of a particular subject of God's Word. And so what I'm not saying is that we're going to seek it out to try to find uh, new doctrine uh, or new meaning that is contrary to what the Word of God has taught for ages, since the beginning. What I am saying is that we must come to it with an open mind to be able to understand it in a different light uh, from what we might have understand it, understood it even before. Not only what we've understood it even before, but also uh, to be able to understand it as we move forward in our lives. As we deal with new trials and new difficulties and new struggles, we are going to be able to find out 
that the word of God is always, it is, it is always a timely word for us because as the book of Hebrews says, it is alive and active and sharper than any double-edged sword. And so we must remain eager to learn because we know that we are entirely dependent upon God to teach us all things. Now you say, well, when can I do this? Well, the psalmist says he rises at midnight to praise the Lord. So maybe do it at midnight. I'm doing it, as you can see behind me, when it's dark outside, it's about 11 o'clock. Uh, and so whatever time of day, it doesn't matter what time of day you go to God to be taught, because God is, uh, God never sleeps, God is always living, God is always with us. We can go to Him always to be taught His Word. And so church, what I want to encourage you is that as you go to the Word of God, I want you to keep an open mind to be teachable, to learn from God's Word. To not just go to it with a preconceived notion of what you already know, but rather go to it uh, with a submissive power to the Holy Spirit to teach you all things. And we know that because we have the Spirit, the Spirit is at work in us. Well, because we have the Spirit uh, through our belief in Jesus Christ, the Spirit is at work in us at, as at work in us to teach us all things. First John chapter two, verse um, uh, verse twenty-seven says, but the anointing that you receive from him abides in you, and you have no need that anyone should teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about everything, and is true, and is no lie, just as it is taught you, abide in him. And so church, as you go to learn the word of God, you must realize that though you may feel inept to be able to do so, you have, if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, a believer of Jesus Christ, you have the Holy Spirit within you to teach you all things. And so would you rely on that teaching power of the Holy Spirit in your life to teach you God's Word, to shine new light on the glorious truths that you have known uh, throughout your life. I just want to leave you with a quote from uh, Matthew Henry as one of the commentaries I like to read as I uh, do my devotionals. And he says, Surely he that will not let his birds go unfed will not let his children go untaught. And so as you go to God's Word to be taught, you must know that God will teach you all things. You just must be willing. Have a good night, church, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, whether in the live stream or in person. Bye-bye.